hello guys this is all rover and in this lecture we will be seeing what is prototype in javascript so whenever we are creating any function then that the editor itself will make one copy that is called the prototype suppose here we have made the function vehicle num wheels and this is a and we are returning this dot price in constructor mode we are calling the function and we are storing in vehicle 1 and vehicle 2 we can access the price of vehicle 2 using this method as line number 14 and if i want to see vehicle prototype i said that whenever any function is made then that prototype is also made so if i run this and we want to see the prototype of the function vehicle then you can use vehicle dot prototype so vehicle dot prototype you can see that this is a copy of the function and in this we have what are the things that we have we have the constructor and we have the function vehicle uh, as we uh, as i have already said you that it will create one extra copy of the function right so what this constructor is constructor is referring to to which function its prototype is it is prototype of the function vehicle so if you want to see any any function uh, whose prototype is so you can see vehicle dot prototype dot constructor this will give you the function to which this prototype is you can see this is the function to which the prototype that editor has itself constructed and whenever we will be creating the object using the new keyword in constructor mode then the copy of that will be created by seeing the prototype right here as you can see vehicle function is there and its prototype is constructed and inside that we have the constructor so if you want to see any function prototype then we can use vehicle dot prototype and if you want to see any prototype to which function refer then we can use vehicle dot prototype dot constructor right now whenever we will be creating object then by seeing that prototype that object will be created what all properties are there so how the, the prototype will be helping in uh, uh, so, so saving us from making an extra copy of function whenever the object is created we will be seeing in the upcoming lectures so thank you so much for watching and keep following in the next lectures thank you very much